Hey, welcome back to the channel. Claire is resting and has told me to get on with making videos, so I just thought to do a little video because recently I got some constructive comments with about our sound quality and and give us a few um, bit of feedback. So that was gratefully received. So I've invested a little bit of money in some new equipment. So first of all, I bought. The Rode Smart Lav Plus and the extension lead, which is there and there, comes in a nice little pouch. And I've also invested in a voiceover mic, so let's go and have a little look at what's inside the box. Right, so here we go. Just the usual leaflets. I don't know what these are actually called. It just shows to show you how much I know about these. That's a bit, a uh, bit crushed. Hopefully that'll flatten out. The mic itself. see all the different leads that one will obviously go in the mic and then that into me PC I think that is the um, case in to stop any vibration I could be wrong all like I say all this is new to me I've never had one of these before uh, several different brackets and then the actual Adjustable stand. There's also this lead. I'm not, I think you can connect your headphones with this one. So, there is all the kit that came in the box. Time to get it set up. Right, so here we are with it all set up. It's a bit crudely done. I'm gonna I'm gonna move this, but as you can see, it attaches to your, your desk. An adjustable arm. I've found out that I think these are called pop filters, and also you get one for the microphone itself. So this is the Zing U BM eight hundred microphone. I think these sockets are called an XLR socket. So as you can see, the wire plugs either directly into your microphone jack on your PC. But I've just tested it and the sound quality is really, really low and I can't increase the volume too much. So I've decided to use this USB um, adapter that came with it and you've got a headphone jack as well and I found this is working a hell of a lot better going via USB so coming back this is a like a vibration thing and it's I think it stops frequencies interfering with your microphone I'm sure someone is going to correct me on that it's got a handle there and you just squeeze it and then slide your microphone in. So you can be the judge of uh, if it's improved things when I do my next voiceover for my next caravan review maybe. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comments to see if this improves things. I'm hoping it will. It wasn't an awful lot of money. I think it was £30 off at Amazon. The most expensive piece of kit that I bought was the extension lead for the Rode Smart Lav microphone that was quite expensive I think combined it was over £60 so they weren't cheap the only thing I'm disappointed with with the Rode considering that a brand like Rode the wire is painfully thin now I've had things with thin wires before and 
unless you're very, very careful and you look after it, you can actually break the wire inside. So I'm going to have to be ultra careful with these. Considering what I paid for them, it was ridiculous amounts of money, so I'm going to have to be really careful with these. So there you go, there's the Zingyu BM800 microphone. Um, I've seen other kits, but you didn't get all this, this arm. You just got the microphone, the pop filters, um, the lead, and that was about it. You didn't get this, this stand that you can attach to your bench. So there you go, you'll have to let me know in the comments when, we, when I do my next video, if, it was, if it's any good, if it's improved things. So while I'm here, I thought I might as well do a little tour of the PC. These what I always used to do me voiceovers, and as you can see, they've seen quite a bit of action because they've been used for gaming. These are Turtle Beach. Don't ask me what model. Oh, yeah, the X12. And as you can see, they've seen a lot of action, these. So that's what I used to do the voiceovers with. Um, but a few people were commenting about the sound quality. I just use a very, very basic mouse. I use a Logitech 910 backlit keyboard. A Predator, an Acer Predator. 4K, 28 inch, XB281HK monitor. I've also got another monitor just there. The HP printer. Creative Labs 6.1 speaker system. A Creative Labs webcam. Then the NZXT case. Um, I've got a GTX NVIDIA graphics card 1070. I've got the water-cooled Avtex cooling system. Um, I've got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. Um, obviously, I've got all the extra LED lighting inside. Um, what else have I got in there? I think that's about it in there. And there you go, that's my, my PC setup, and that's where I do all my editing. So this, hopefully, will be a nice addition to the setup. Only time will tell. There's something I'm yet to review and unbox. I still haven't had a chance with the lockdown. I think that's brought everything to a standstill. And there you go, there's my little office PC setup. And obviously... The trademark hat and me gift off me mother at Christmas. Oh, and I've also got a separate standalone CD drive. Yeah, believe it or not, I still actually use CDs from time to time and DVDs. So there's me PC setup. I don't know if there's anything else I can tell you about me PC. Oh, I've got um, in total there's standalone drives which are under the bench. And in total, I've got eight terabytes of disk space. Um, there's one terabyte Samsung's SSD drive inside, which is hidden away somewhere. Um, so there you go. That's my uh, PC setup. So there you go. There's a little look at my latest purchases. Hopefully, they'll improve the sound quality of my next few videos, especially when I do voiceovers for caravan reviews, etc. Um, and also a little me a little look at me PC setup, me little recording studio as I like to tease the kids with. Um, so there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help us grow. Thanks so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Ta ra.